Yeah, there was a big upset Saturday, but it was at Iowa State's expense. Louisiana was 11 and a half point favorites and they won by 17. Here's what Jack Trice Stadium looked like. A few parents got to come and the pan and cheerleaders were in the stands. Louisiana had a big return for a touchdown early and Iowa State was still doing okay. Minute 20 left in the half. Brees Hall scores his first touchdown from 11 yards. It's 14-7 Cyclones at the half. They had 200 total yards. Second half, it went downhill fast. A.J. Washington, look at the defender, rip it away for the pick. Unbelievable play. Purdy's only pick on the day. Still 14-10 Cyclones in the third quarter. Levi Lewis for the Raging Cajuns to Peter LeBlanc. LeBlanc behind the defense and just keeps on going. 78-yard score. While Iowa State's play was just 19 yards, longest play, just 19 yards. The Raging Cajuns were flying all over the field. Another huge special teams play. Eric Garrar, 83 yards to the house. Made it 24-14, 31-14 the final. Elgin Rucker was there on a day when nothing went right for the clones. Almost a year ago to the date, special teams hurt Iowa State right here in Jack Trice Stadium in their one-point loss to Iowa. Now, no Cyhawk game this year, but similar pain felt with Iowa State losing their season opener to Louisiana, mostly because of two huge special teams mistakes. You know, both field returns, um, both opportunities to return the ball back to the field. And, you know, you know we were out of our, our coverage lane and they've got playmakers to make plays with it. A 95 yard kickoff return right after Iowa State got on the board, set the tone and an 83 yard punt return with two minutes left in the third quarter applied the necessary pressure for Louisiana to take full control of this game. It's the first time Iowa State has allowed a punt and kickoff return in the same game since 2013 against Baylor. From my end of it, there obviously there's no excuse. It's something we've really worked on and, and we've got good specialists. We've got the ability to be good on special teams. But today, you know, hats off to them because they made two big plays and, and like you said, were game changers. And if it wasn't for two special team blunders by Louisiana, missing the mark on two field goals, this game wouldn't have even been close. Yeah, it's not a recipe for success, exactly. Uh, we've always taken a lot of pride in our special teams at Iowa State, and that is something that definitely will be, will be coached up a lot here these next few weeks. But the issues don't stop there. Later tonight at 10, I'll tell you how this offense came up short on a lot of passes and a lot of expectations in this season opening loss. Reporting in Ames, Elgin Rucker, KCCI, Iowa Sports Leader.